all right perfect so hi everybody like officially welcome to the meeting so today we have with us uh, andy or andrea schmidt who is from arak whose experience is almost equal my age i would say so more than 30 32 years if i'm uh, correct and uh, he's been supporting us to conduct these sessions uh, once or twice or sometimes many times in a year according to the schedule so andy could you say a few words about yourself uh, and and then we can start if it's okay well, as you said already, I'm very old. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Just kidding, please. <laughs> no, no. I started in insurance very early, of course, with age 19. Yeah. Now I just turned 50 and I'm doing it for 31 years already. Specialized on uh, health insurance and pension plans for almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we are working together already for two and a half years, something like that. It's been uh, since years, the yeah. beginning of uh, Corona. Yeah, um, it was a lucky incident <laughs> and uh, not Corona, but working together with you, yeah. of course. <laughs> and um, yeah, I myself have an international family. That's important. Um, my wife is from the Philippines, came here 20 years ago. So I know the perspective coming to Germany. I myself also studied for one year in the United States. So I also was abroad already. So yeah. I actually know how you feel and I know about all the problems you face when you come here and um, yeah also about uh, the health insurance uh, system in the in India and everything we learned about the last two and a half years of course yeah because yeah. it's more and more of you uh, coming here helping with uh, mostly IT and engineering mm -hmm. and uh, yeah I'm, I'm glad to help you all answer questions and help afterwards also Perfect. That's basically it. <laughs> thanks, Andy. So I think thanks for the intro. So we'll be talk, talking mostly general on this topic till the end and probably a few examples from Arag to give you a price comparison. So feel free. Uh, maybe you can note some points uh, if you want or if you want to ask questions. Like I said, use the chat option. We will collect everything and at the end we will uh, discuss. So this is your opportunity. So don't uh, miss it. <laughs> so now let's go. So uh, agenda will be like follow, like we will talk about what is private health insurance. Oh, okay, the A is still wrong. Who can take it, how it is calculated, and uh, how does uh, public health insurance and private are differing? Does it have same coverage? What is not covered? And can we shift back to public? So all, and what happens during job loss, maternity, and for whom is not suited is kind of like uh, the disadvantages, I would say like for whom it's disadvantages, international coverage, claiming process, and no claim. So I know these are like many points, but we will touch the top level in this meeting uh, as much as possible. And in depth, we will have in individual sessions later or perhaps even in the question session. So Andy, can you please define in your own words, uh, what is a private health insurance basically in Germany? Well, the, the whole system in Germany is based on, on, on two parts. One is the private health insurance, the other one is the public health insurance or you say compulsory insurance, um, Gesetzliche Krankenversicherung, also said the GKV. Mm -hmm. And um, those two systems are parallel to each other. And the private health insurance is actually only accessible under certain circumstances. If you are earning mm -hmm. above next year, it will be 66,600 a year. Mm -hmm. So let's say 70K almost 70k you have to earn yeah. then you are eligible as an uh, employed person mm -hmm. so all self-employed or freelancer are um, eligible without a, a limit mm -hmm. um, and then also Beamte like um, they're also um, eligible for it but that's a different topic of course yeah and that's also a special topic so we concentrate here more on the uh, yeah, self self employed or employed above seventy k, let's say, mm -hmm. and um, it has a lot of advantages. The private one, mm -hmm. usually, it has more coverage than the public one, and uh, there's different plans, of course. But most plans, our plans from Art, for example, mm -hmm. all plans have more coverage than the public one. Mm -hmm. There's also nothing excluded that is not allowed. Mm -hmm. So a little comparison to India, for example, the private is the better one if you compare the two mm -hmm. from the quality. Mm -hmm. And for younger people, if you enter in the younger age, like between 30 and 40, most people enter. Mm -hmm. 45 is also possible. 25 is also possible, of course, or even younger. Or, no? mm -hmm. it, um, it is possible. 
Uh, it's also possible if you're older, but then it's, you have to really see if it makes sense or not because it's getting yeah. more expensive from each year. So mm -hmm. most people, let's say between 25 and 45, mm -hmm. um, are also cheaper unless uh, yeah we come to all the specialties. Um, unless uh, you are married and only one person is working, you have three or four kids, yeah. then it would be more expensive because mm -hmm. you pay for each person. But if it's only one person or one adult with one or two kids, it uh, still makes sense. You save money and you have a better coverage. Perfect. So I think you covered up most of the slides in the first slide itself. But let me <laughs> let me try to ask some That's questions. Just an introduction. We That's can okay. Go That's okay. Into it. Yeah, yeah, totally <laughs> fine, Andy. I leave you free. Uh, you are free to talk <laughs> however you like. I'm just okay, yeah. lightening the mood up. That's so. Um, so could you please explain the difference on how public is calculated and how uh, private is calculated in terms of yeah. price? As, as, I, as I mentioned, the yeah. the income uh, limit. Um, the public one is is calculated by the income. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it means if you are above that 66,600, we don't have to talk about the old limit anymore yeah. because it's only one month mm -hmm. or six weeks, then we have 2023 already. Mm -hmm. So if you are above that limit, you will pay. I just uh, got the estimated numbers. Mm -hmm. You will pay an average of, what was that, 800 and eight for the for the health insurance plus the Pflegeversicherung. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have children with a Pflegeversicherung, you will be paying altogether 974 euro average. Yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. year it was 930. Mm -hmm. Now next year it's 974 average. Mm -hmm. um, and the private one, what you see here, is calculated by the age. That's why I also mentioned the age when it makes sense to to come here. Mm -hmm. And by the, the gender of the person, actually, it's the same right now. Yeah, we have already yeah, unisex yeah, yeah. Uh, since 2012. And the previous illness is a very important, of course, uh, the history. We are asking health questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you have a severe illness, then it will be difficult or you have to pay a little more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You pay a little extra one, but uh, maybe it still makes sense because let's say our products for a 30 or 35 year old, you will also show, I guess, mm -hmm. will be roughly, let's say four, five, six, 700, mm -hmm. but four, five, six, 700, depending on age and, and, and uh, health condition is not 974. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I think that's a good point. And so, children so are cheaper, just to we keep it for later, but uh, yeah, children yeah, yeah. don't cost four, five, six, 700, of course. Totally fine, totally fine. So just one heads up for maybe some of you have already seen, like I also made a small video on this calculation, which Andy spoke about. I shared the link in the follow up email. You can also see how the public health insurance price is increasing. So Andy, when it comes to why I wrote this uh, parameter, like to clarify that the gender doesn't make a, a difference in the pricing first point. And also uh, when it comes to the age, like does it does private health insurance increase with age? That would be my next question. Okay, it, in, it increases for the one who is entering it. Yeah, it, it's yeah. a difference if you enter it with 30, 35 or 40. Mm -hmm. So if you wait longer, say it's interesting, but I'm going to wait one or two or three years, mm -hmm. then for each year, it costs about, let's say, 10 to 15 euro more monthly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But once you are in, if you enter like now, mm -hmm. then the, your price will be locked in for, for all times. Yeah, okay. and there's other parameters, of course, we always double check our premium, what we get from everybody yeah. and how much yeah. we spend the, the claims. If that would be the claims would be much higher than what we um, get with the premiums. Then mm -hmm. of course the premiums um, can be adapted, mm -hmm. but they are not adapted because you're getting older. So once you okay. enter with 35, mm -hmm. you have the price for a 35 year old, even with 40, 45, 50, mm -hmm. whenever, if That's there's cool. no raise of the premium okay i think that's a very good clarification so another before going on to the next question one uh, chat one question chat which could also uh, help to understand this like in public we are paying uh, for example uh, based on the salary and it is covering the whole family if uh, yeah, the spouse is not working how does it work in private in private is it individual or is it like uh, how does it work in private, it's individual for each person. That's why mm -hmm. I mentioned in the beginning, if yeah. you have a spouse who doesn't work um, and you have uh, two, three, four children, then it will be more pricey. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. it still will be the much better coverage, but then yeah. you have to decide, of course, is it worth paying mm -hmm. much more? Mm -hmm. uh, because if your spouse is not working and you are married, that's mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's also maybe relationships where they are not married yet. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. In, at least in Germany, it's getting, of course, more and more mm -hmm. cases like that. But if you are married and the spouse is not working, then you are responsible for the spouse mm -hmm. and then you would have to pay for each person in private insurance. So okay. that would be two times four, five, six, seven hundred, <clears throat> yeah. mm -hmm. which is already usually reaching the 900 uh, mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and for the kids, it will be between 100 and 200. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one adult, as I said, let's say five, 600 plus two yeah. children, one to 200. It still makes sense mm -hmm. to calculate and to look at the coverage, but it's not for free. Yeah. But I mean, it's easy to say <laughs> in the public one, it's for free. Mm -hmm. If it costs you 974 euro. Yeah. Yeah you still are already paying the maximum. Uh, I think this is also case to case. I mean, just for the person who commented, it's case to case. If you want yeah. to know like whether this will be financially same for you or more or less, we can have an individual call later and yes. know your date of birth and calculate. But I think, I hope this answers uh, most of the doubts that it is individual. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Andy. So next question I have, Andy, is like, okay, for example, somebody joins private health insurance. Yeah. So you already spoke about previous illness. If somebody is having that, maybe they'll have to pay a little extra or not. So after joining a private health insurance, if somebody falls sick, yeah, you yeah. have to, and uh, they are in need of a uh, you know huge operation or something, and will the cost increase as a consequence of taking treatments using private health insurance? No, it does not. It's not allowed. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, otherwise, nobody could really do a decide for it yeah yep. because that, then you couldn't calculate it so like let's say today is a presentation mm -hmm. and tomorrow tomorrow you have consultation next mm -hmm. week you would decide for it you would apply for it yeah and let's say next next week you would be locked in in our computer everything would be done yep. then mm -hmm. next next week your health uh, status is counts mm -hmm. yeah so even if at the beginning of january you have a severe illness Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter. It's covered. It's covered a lifetime and it won't cost extra money. Okay. That's, That's why it's also important, of course, to do it if you are young and healthy, mm -hmm. if you're eligible already, because it's cheaper mm -hmm. and because of the health questions. Okay. okay. Perfect. I think this clarifies uh, one of the most important doubts that people have. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And I'll just go on to the next most important and already you answered just, it during just, introduction. Just one, one more Sorry. thing. Please, please, please. Uh, please, please if, please. if there's rumors, so there's no rumors. Let's say we are asking you health questions, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's say you are answering that and you forget something. Yeah. Not that you want to lie to us. Uh, nobody, uh, I assume nobody will do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you forget something. We are asking about the last five years hospitalization. Actually, you should know mm -hmm. or you should remember. We are asking about the last three years, doctor, maybe you forget something, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you don't mention that. And we find out afterwards, yeah? Because you have a claim and then we will check with the doctor, was there something else before? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> if we will find out there was something what you didn't mention. Okay. In that case, we could say, okay, you didn't tell us, we didn't know. If we would have known before, then you would have gotten an extra premium mm -hmm. and then you will get the extra premium yeah, that's the only exception where it can be changed afterwards. But that has a reason, of course. Of course. So and, that means, um, yeah. yeah. But still in that case, even if we take more then, mm -hmm. then you still have an extraordinary right to cancel the contract. Okay. Yeah, we cannot say we need 50 or 100 euro more and yeah. you have to pay for it and you can't get out. Yeah. yeah. If we take more money, even backwards, even in that situation, you have an extraordinary right to yeah. say, okay, I'm canceling it and I'm going back. Yeah. All right. So, which means and uh, also to understand that uh, it is good to reveal if you had any issues previously instead of hiding it and then going to private and uh, mm. coming into trouble. So answer all the health questions uh, correctly. And then once it's correct and it's fine, I don't think there's a problem. Correct? I, mean, yeah. I understand. I mean, it doesn't need to be over correct. It needs to be yeah. correct. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I mean, you don't need to, if, if somebody has been, three or four times a year having a bad uh, bad cold, yeah, not uh, corona, mm -hmm. but just a normal bad cold, uh, to mm -hmm. infect, whatever, mm -hmm. or like one time, once a year, 
an upset stomach or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you don't need to mention it for every year with the days and, and, and the minutes or the hours. Yeah, 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 it. yeah. You just say once or twice a year. Mm-hmm. After one week, it's okay. Like we can write it, note it down like that, then everything is fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. But if you would leave out a knee injury mm-hmm. or a knee surgery, you forget about that. Yeah. And we would say, hmm. Why did you forget about it? <laughs> uh, or how could you forget about it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That would be seen different. So I think that explains itself. Yeah. Thanks, Andy. I think we'll uh, go on to this the slide now and then to another question. Which Lord will, mm-hmm. uh, so is there a law like protecting like, uh, or, or in other words, the private health insurance has all the same as public health? I think it's a repeated question. And is there something that is missing in private health insurance that which is available in the public insurance? For okay, it's, it's mandatory by law in Germany that um, the insurance includes three big areas. One mm-hmm. area is the normal doctors, mm-hmm. yeah, going to a doctor. Mm-hmm. Then the second one is hospital. Mm-hmm. Everything what has to do with the hospital, surgery and stuff. And the third thing is dental. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So all insurances, for example, what we offer includes mm-hmm. everything. Not, nothing is excluded. Okay. The law says you have to do the doctor and the hospital. The yep. law says you don't have to do the dental. Mm-hmm. But I say, of course, you have to do the dental because that also could cost you ten thousands, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And nobody can really risk that. What, what yeah. if you have an accident and fall on your mouth, yeah. and it costs like twenty thousand euro, and mm-hmm. you have to do it? Mm-hmm. I mean, how can you do a job if you don't have teeth anymore? <laughs> yeah, and you have to represent yeah. your company or anything. Yeah, yeah. If you are in sales or whatever, in, in, in meetings, conferences, so. Mm-hmm. Let's make it short. There's no exclusive, no exclusions, um, because partly it's not allowed, and mm-hmm. partly it doesn't make sense. There will okay. be maybe some other companies which are still offering mm-hmm. uh, these parts um, single. Yeah. The the doctor, the hospital, and the dental, and leave out the dental. Mm-hmm. But I would never suggest it. I would not even suggest it for a baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because there could still be some development in the gums. Mm-hmm. What you cannot see. Mm-hmm. And if that is coming out and you see it mm-hmm. and you cannot cover it anymore because you have health questions and then you have a huge problem. Yeah. 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 I think it's a, it's a, it, all these components should be always there. And I think like you mentioned, private has these as well uh, as in public, we can yeah. see the advantages. Uh, for example, I, I can see people asking about dental and eye treatment. We have those slides at the end guys. So we will come to that for sure. Don't worry. Yeah. So one, one question probably will be interesting because there are a couple of people here who are here who are working couples. Yeah. Yes. So for example, if two people are working, can one be in private and other and the kids can be in public? In what condition is it allowed? Could you please tell? Uh, yes, it's possible if both people are earning above 66, uh, 60, let's say 70K, yeah, 60, yeah, 70. above the limit. Yeah, if, if yeah. both earn above the limit, mm-hmm. um, then you can decide and keep the kids even in the public one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But here, here's my question. I mean, of course, you have to know about your motivation. Why do you want to change? Mm-hmm. One motivation is to save money. Okay. Mm-hmm. The other motivation is to have a better coverage. Yeah. So seriously, you only want a better coverage and not for your kids? Hmm. Well, I'm a dad. I would rather think the other way around. Yeah. I would okay. rather think I want the better coverage for the kids. And it still makes sense financially. But it's mm-hmm. possible. Yeah. Okay. 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 We just, uh, I think that would clarify. I'm sure they want to know about that also, but just this general question, Andy. And thanks for that. So uh, there was another point, like how uh, actually I collected this from uh, Livingston today, Andy. Mm-hmm. So like uh, in the previous meeting, we had a question like, how does the price increase happen? So we know that the public has been increasing every year. I also mm-hmm. made some example videos. So uh, how it is in private, I think, uh, could you please tell me uh, about this uh, pricing in Arag at least, how it has happened? Please. Yeah, well, we have three product lines. That is the yellow line and the two green lines. Mm-hmm. The yellow line is the comfort class, comfort class. Mm-hmm. Then you have the green one, mid extra and mid best. The mid extra and mid best is existing since uh, end of 2019. Yeah. And there has not been um, a rising ever since. And we also have a guarantee already until the end of 2023. Mm-hmm. So there won't be a rising now to 1st of January, yeah? Okay. Um, 
very important if there is somebody in the chat which is insured already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it doesn't matter if with Arak or with somebody else. Yeah. yeah. There is a huge rise for January with a Pflegeversicherung. Yeah. 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 Um, it, but that's not the health insurance itself. That's not the med extra, the med best, or the comfort. Yeah. But the Pflegeversicherung, it's actually the same coverage as the public one. Mm -hmm. That is mandatory. The, the yeah. government tells us what to do there. Everybody mm -hmm. has to have that coverage. Mm -hmm. And since the last two to three years have been very, um, from the point of view from the from the claims, have yeah. been very high. Yeah, because. They had to have uh, more investments because of Corona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then finally, there is a tariff rates for the people who work in care. Mm -hmm. So they are having higher income. Salaries, yeah. Yeah, a higher salary, which is yeah. actually so from a social point of view, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So more claims, changes in laws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the reason why the Pflegeversicherung is rising between 20 to 30 euro for an adult right now. Okay. 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 That will come to all customers, no matter if it's Arak or anywhere else. Okay. And it's a fault. It's a fault, actually not the fault, but it's a fault of the system. Yeah. Or it's yeah. a cause of the system. But okay. this one here, the yeah. yellow line, you can see the comfort class has been all the way back. If you look back here for 10 years, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, has been 12 or 13 euro rise yep. yeah and the public one in the same time span mm -hmm. yeah rise from 600 to 970. All right. yeah in 2010 it was 640 mm -hmm. and now it will be 970. so the public one actually is the one mm -hmm. who is rising every year 30 mm -hmm. 40 euro mm -hmm. and us we are actually not yeah okay uh, just one point I want to add, Andy, because some of them uh, are very new here. They don't understand the German term Flege Versicherung. So long term, it's actually the long term care insurance what we uh, see in our salary slips as PV, guys. So this is not connected with the health insurance, yeah, but health PV. insurance companies. PV. Yeah, PV, yes. Health insurance company collect these. And this is what Andy said is increasing in 2023. Uh, uh, yeah. I, will also, um, I will also uh, make a small shot later on this topic, but just to keep you updated. And uh, one more uh, question, Andy, uh, regarding to the previous question, actually. So we, we talk about like when couple are working, uh, they can keep the kids once they are above the limit of 66,000, either mm -hmm. uh, uh, public or private. So what happens, for example, when one of them is above 66 and one of them is below 66 and they have one child? Uh, he, then is it man? The, the person who is above can, is, is eligible and can go to the private one, but then the yeah. kid has to also join the private one. Okay. Yeah. Then it's not going to be in the public one. Um, just one last word here to this um, sure, long-term sure. care, to this please, 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 yeah. It costs for an adult an average now of sixty to seventy euro. Okay. And you pay for the same thing mm -hmm. in the public one in TK or wherever. Mm -hmm. Right now about one fifty-eight. All right. And next year one sixty-five. Oh my god. So we are still one hundred euro less. Okay. <laughs> Just to give you a feeling for the same coverage. Yeah. yeah? yeah. How can that be? Because of course the social or the public um, uh, insurance, you pay for everybody who's earning less and you pay mm -hmm. for everybody who's paying nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. And let me say this, um, the public insurance is going to have a very difficult future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I mean, we know about the political situation. Yeah, I said I'm married to a foreigner myself. Yeah, I'm not a racist at all. Yeah. But the situation with Ukraine mm -hmm. is very difficult because we have more than 1 million people who came in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those 1 million people have an access to the public one right away. Okay. So it means everybody who came here mm -hmm. yeah, is covered by, has to be covered by the public ones and they are not paying a single cent. Okay. So you can imagine what's going to happen next year and next, next year and next, next, next year. Okay. Because the money, they have a deficit and the money is definitely not enough. So it will be more than 1,000, 1,000 plus. Yeah. So just adding statistics, I think it is around 17 billion on the last meeting, which I heard from Bundes or something. Correct me wrong if, I, if I'm yeah. wrong, Andy, but this is what I heard. Yeah. Um, yeah. But let's see how it, how far it turns out. So, yeah. 
Uh, just one information for members who are hearing this word first time, med extra, med best and comfort. These are like the packages available in the private health insurance from Iraq. So I just posted this example to show you that the price has been stable in the last 10 years uh, in comfort, for example, and in other lines as well. So this question came, comes always like, what is the history? Do you, can you give some examples? So that is yeah. why I added this. So I hope it helps those who are uh, coming to the session second time because we have some second time uh, people also handy here. So which is uh, kind of nice. So um, I just made this example, Andy, uh, showing mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, uh, from 2023 for someone who's 30 years old uh, on the very basic comfort package. So this mm -hmm. also might, uh, you, you can of course tell a few words on the advantages, but just for others, you can have a view like how the price difference between what you pay in uh, public and private. Please, Andy. What you see here basically is you have also possibilities of different deductibles. Yeah? Deductible is something like if you have zero deductible, what you clicked here, the 432 mm -hmm. uh, would be for the health insurance. And if you go to the upper right side, you have the 494 euro 12 that mm -hmm. is including of the long-term care then. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And if you would say, I will pay the, let's say 600 um euro bills during one year myself mm -hmm. then you pay like 100 euro less yeah mm -hmm. so that would be your decision that's an option but it makes sense for an employed person um, to have the zero deductible because your employer is paying half of the premium yeah but your employer is not paying half of the claims yeah? true, true, true. that's true so and this price includes all three areas inpatient mm -hmm. treatment outpatient treatment and dental Perfect, perfect. So I think there are other things also on Natro, uh, Pati, 80% here. So I yeah. could also add a little bit on that part. Alternate medicines, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Decent. yeah. Well, this is just, as, as we said, if you are interested, mm -hmm. yeah, we can go into further details. We have a brochure in English where all the three plans are in all details. Mm -hmm. And then you can see what is important for you or not. But yeah. this coverage is already much better than the... Um, yeah. And the public one, most especially the inpatient treatment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says the inpatient treatment by the chief physician, one or two bedrooms. <clears throat> that is actually, if you have a really severe diagnosis, which is seldomly, you can choose a doctor anywhere worldwide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the public insurance in Germany, you have the right to go to the next hospital to the doctor who is um, mm -hmm. on um, who is in charge right now. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on duty. That is your right in the public insurance. The next hospital to you, mm -hmm. and the doctor who is in duty. So imagine you have a problem where that mm -hmm. next hospital doesn't even treat it, where there's no specialist. Mm -hmm. Here you have a free selection worldwide. All right, all right. I think this is a, a free selection of doctors and free selection of treatments is a, a very important point uh, with private, especially. Yeah. Uh, Andy, I think I just want to go back to the point of Lejay versus room because I think it created some kind of confusion uh, yeah. for, for members. I mean, not what you said, but rather it's since it's a new term. Uh, so the question comes here is like when Feche Flushishrung increases, will the price of Arag also increase every year? So that's kind of... Uh, no, not every year. Of course, I, I mean, there has yeah. been changes in the Pflegeversicherung. The changes have been made from the government. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the public coverage is actually the same as the private coverage. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's just mandatory for us and for all other private insurances to offer this same one, okay. this PV. And as I said, the public one is calculating it with 165 yeah. and we are calculating it with an average of 60 to 70 euros. Yeah, I think this explanation you gave, what, the reason before that it's a social it was security system. 40 to yeah. 50 euro. Yeah, before oh, it was yeah. even better. And mm -hmm. that is those 20 euro difference. Oh. Yeah, but, but since the tariff rates, the salary has been rising. Yeah, since uh, Corona was there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so all the extra money had to be spent. And that's the reason why it has to be 60 to 70. Yeah. Okay. So uh, is there anything you want to add, Andy, uh, to advantages of uh, a private health insurance in short words? Like apart from, uh, I think one thing perhaps is the uh, one or two bedrooms, like maybe you could say something on that, like how it's different from public and private. And also- Well, the public yeah. one, you, as I said, you have the 
right for the next hospital, uh, the hospital yeah. next to you geographically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, you don't have a ride for one or one or two bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, some hospitals, of course, you have to admit it, there is only two bedrooms. Yeah. yeah, the more modern ones, but then the older ones they also have bedrooms with three or four or five beds. Yeah, and um, that's what is actually included in the public one. Yeah, yeah. And if, you want, ones, yeah. If, mm -hmm. if you want an upgrade, you can also choose it if you're on the public one. Mm -hmm. But then you have to pay like between fifty and one hundred euro for each day. Yeah, extra. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and That's then you true. are only in the better, let's say, in the better hotel room. Yeah, you still don't have the better doctor. Yeah, yeah, because the doctor, uh, what you have a right and in the public one, is actually the simple doctor, the one who just started. Yeah, yeah? yeah. the one who is twenty eight or twenty nine, and yeah. not the one who is uh, or thirty one, mm -hmm. the one who is not with experience. Yeah, mm -hmm. who's in the job already for ten or twenty years. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. oberarzt or professor mm -hmm. that will be only paid by the private one. Okay, I think this fine difference uh, is important for everybody to understand uh, in terms of inpatient treatment. I guess this is the most important point which I wanted to address. And thanks for that. And if it comes to outpatient, yeah, yeah, yeah. with a, making an appointment, mm -hmm. if you have, for example, knee injury, what I said, or a back injury, and you yeah. have to go to the um, orthopedic, orthopedi, yeah, also, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, just call there. And the first question you will be asked, how are you insured, public or private? If mm -hmm. you say public, then you will get an appointment in two or three or four months. Yeah. If you are insured <laughs> privately, you will get an appointment in one or two or three days. Yeah. yeah. And some even have two different waiting areas. True. Um, yeah. So, I think yeah, this difference we have seen in already existing customers from big cities, especially in Munich. They, yeah. I mean, some of them wrote reviews also for us later on. I think it's a very important point uh, getting quicker appointments and meeting directly with specialists uh, and because most common thing is we can't be holding on the pain for two months <laughs> till we get a uh, meet with the doctor well if you're sick you're sick now yeah? yeah yeah and if you don't do something about it then it will get worse true yeah true. so what what should i do with an appointment in three months yeah yeah that's ridiculous true that's true Thanks, Andy. So I'll come to the most important question or doubt which people have uh, regarding to claiming process. Uh, for example, uh, what kind of like do we always have to pay up front? Uh, like say if it's a huge bill, what do I do? So how is the claiming? Please explain like uh, the two, uh, two varieties and then maybe we can go on to the no claim bonus part. Uh, okay. Then a little bit. Please tell me. The big difference, the big difference between private and public is in the private, you have a contract with the health insurance. Mm -hmm. and you have a contract with a doctor yeah in the public one the doctor and the insurance has a contract also mm -hmm. so in the public one right now most of you are probably in tk you just give the card and it's paid yeah except of your contribution what you have to share sometimes yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here you will go to the doctor you get a bill afterwards Sometimes you get it right away, but most of the times it will be sent to you within the next weeks or month, yeah, depending mm -hmm. on how much the doctor loves the paperwork <laughs> or depending on how fast the doctor needs the money. Yeah. Yeah. And then it says you have to pay, you get the bill and it says you have to pay within four or six weeks. Okay. So if it's a small one, like mm -hmm. a bad cold or an upset stomach, it will be like one or 200 euro. Mm -hmm. you, pay, you pay it first. You could claim it right away. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't make sense because of the no claim bonus. We come to that later. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's a bigger one, like let's say one thousand or eight hundred or two thousand or five thousand or forty thousand, mm -hmm. whatever is big for you. Yeah. For mm -hmm. the one person, eight hundred is big. For the other person, eight thousand is big. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. There's no definition in our terms and conditions. Yeah. If you say it is too big, I cannot prepay it. I don't want to prepay it. Mm -hmm. Then you can give it to us right away. We have an mm -hmm. application for that, by the way, yeah. where you just have to take a picture and upload it. It's very easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, you also will see the, the tracking that yeah. is, is, is in work, in progress, mm -hmm. that has been processed and so on. Mm -hmm. And then you just in, instruct us to pay directly to the hospital or to the doctor, and then we will do so. And you don't have to prepay it. Because if that would not be the case, then nobody would really decide for it. Yeah. <laughs> also the germans not because you cannot take the risk not yeah. everybody has like uh, fifty thousand or one hundred thousand euro on the account for a surgery yeah. true 
to. I mean, even if they have, like, why would they spend if they're paying for an insurance? <laughs> also. Yeah. Thanks, Andy. I think this, uh, I wanted to explain the difference and uh, uh, let's go to the no claim bonus because we are also reaching the time, 15 minutes to seven. Mm -hmm. So could mm -hmm. you please tell what is this no claim bonus and why the previous point which you mentioned uh, makes sense in this term? Please. Well, the no claim bonus is actually a reward yeah, mm -hmm. for uh, somebody who is healthy, who mm -hmm. is not having too many bills, let's say. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it means you are getting, depending on the product line, for an adult, you will get, let's say, between 1,500 and 2,400 euro, no claim bonus, mm -hmm. a year, once a year, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. if you don't turn in bills, mm -hmm. except of checkups. Checkups are not included mm -hmm. in the no claim bonus. We want mm -hmm. you to do checkups. If you mm -hmm. do checkups, it will be paid. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't touch the no claim bonus. So we don't want to motivate you here not to go to the doctor. That's mm -hmm. very important. Please, if you have something, always go to the doctor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then if you only have bills 100, 200, 500 euro mm -hmm. in the, during the year, you, in, in January, you have a bad cold, you get a bill 100 euro, you pay for it. You prepay it. Mm -hmm. Maybe in April again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then in November, again, so let's say 100 plus 100 plus 200. It's mm -hmm. only been 400 euro. You could turn in that right away. You could claim that. Yeah. Then you will get back the 400 euro right away, the 100, 100, 200. But yeah. then you don't get the no claim bonus. So it does make sense to turn in any normal bills, except of checkup. Yeah. Below the 1.5 to 2.4. Okay. Because then you will destroy that and then you won't get back the two four. And this no claim bonus is so great because it doesn't exist in the public one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you if you get it, let's say you get the 2,400 euro back, mm -hmm. then that is the best product, by the way, the made best, no deductible, young mm -hmm. person. That is about 2,400. Yeah. 1,500 is, let's say, 35 to 40, mm -hmm. made extra also no deductible so you know it, it depends on the product line on the package yeah. Yeah. and on the deductible and on your age so mm -hmm. you get the 2400 back mm -hmm. and you don't have to give half of it to your employer that's the greatest thing your mm -hmm. employer paid half of the premium yeah you get back 2400 euro and you don't have to give half of it back to the employer so that's a great thing about it yeah yeah there's only one side effect also to be honest yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um of course if you have if you're paying less yeah you can claim less with the tax taxes yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but of course it still makes sense because you don't pay 100 taxes mm -hmm. yeah you pay 40 percent taxes or 42 mm -hmm. um as a as a good earner yeah so 60 percent benefit is still for you I think that's a great example, Andy. We have a lot of questions on chat. I'll try to put the questions uh, in very yeah. short words. So is there any time limit? Because for example, uh, for example, say uh, someone is starting on Jan with us. We have quite a few customers like that. So in Jan, they had a common cold or say a stomach ache. They pay 50 euros. Uh, they mm -hmm. got the bills with them, but then they are holding the bills till end of December. So until yeah. when they can claim this, uh, what they okay. had, Paid you always can job. claim it yeah. two years afterwards. So uh, all the bills from 2022, yeah. I can claim until the end of 2024. Okay. In that case, will it affect the no claim bonus of 2022? Um, well, if some person wants to be smart. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm sure. In, I'm sure this will come. That's why. Does it turn it in? Yeah. The, yeah, no yeah. Claim bonus, the no claim bonus is always paid for the previous year. Mm -hmm. in the next year in september mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so most people have turned in their bills by september yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's why it's not in january right mm -hmm. away yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because some people might forgot and didn't turn it in so yeah. you will always get a letter already in march or april yeah and then you will get the money in september so don't we don't have to have <laughs> too many people to pay it back yeah yeah i understand but once yeah. you are in that flow once yeah. you are insured with us Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always extra money in September, which is pretty cool. I yeah. think most of you get money in uh, 12 months, 12 yeah. monthly premiums yeah. in the yeah. modern companies already. If you are mm -hmm. in an 
older company you maybe sometimes get for vacation in May, June yeah. and for Christmas in November, December, an extra salary mm -hmm. or half extra salary. So mm -hmm. September is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You can pay your vacation from it. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, but it's uh, I find it pretty cool. Yeah. So is it yearly or is it like only for the first year? How is it actually? No, 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 no. It's every year if you don't turn in uh, the bills. Yeah. Okay. And then comes a very uh, you know, kind of a tricky question. So I have called like four or five times. I took one week of sick holiday, for example. So I don't turn the bills for the call. So because I took sick holiday, like sick leave uh, for mm -hmm. say uh, four weeks or two weeks, in that case, will I get the no claim bonus or is it not? Well, the sick leave uh, below six weeks um, doesn't cost us anything. Okay. Your employer, your employer is paying for it. The employer is obliged to pay your salary for six weeks. That's mm -hmm. by law in Germany. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it won't affect actually. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. And I don't assume you will have a you will have an illness where you are sick longer than six weeks where you don't turn any other bills in. Because if you are sick longer than six weeks, it's probably severe. And Maybe. then you will probably also turn in the other bills. True. In yeah, the very a, unlikely case, yeah. let's say you would be sick for six months, you mm -hmm. will only claim the, the salary, the mm -hmm. Kantal guild. Yeah. And you don't claim anything in the mid best or mid extra. Yeah. And you yeah. will still get back the mid best or mid extra. All right, all right, all right. I think that's a very good hypothetical situation, but clearly explained. So, it won't happen, um, in, won't happen in reality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, for example, somebody, uh, you know, like Indians who are here and working here, for uh, for example, they have to leave uh, in March 2024. Yeah. But yes. they lived here in 2023 and they didn't make any claims. So, will they get the bonus? Uh, how will they get the bonus? Will they also get the bonus in September or how does it work? Well, you still have to have uh, roots in Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, you still have to, of course, you still have to have a um, bank account here. Actually, the, the insurance yeah. contract still has to run. Mm -hmm. yeah? So if they really leave in March and shut down everything, then yeah. they won't get the bonus. Okay. Yeah? The, the, the contract still has to be mm -hmm. in force in September when you get it. All right. All right. I think this is a very important point. Uh, yeah. Another question is, Andy, like uh, regarding not just no claim, but in general. So we also buy medicines over the counter. So in public, some of them are not covered. Uh, what about in yeah. private? In the mid extra and mid best, all medicine is covered. Of course, you need a bill. Yeah. But uh, you don't need a prescription. Yeah. In the comfort plan, it's only from what is prescribed. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like in the public. Yeah, but in the mid extra and mid best plan uh, packages, you get all medicine <clears throat> prescribed or not prescribed. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you can say basically you, everything is paid what you get in apotheca, mm -hmm. except of the cosmetics. You have to mention that for the girls. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Yeah? The cosmetics are not medical. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> that is not paid. That is not covered. All right. Yeah? So uh, no Vichy or stuff. Yeah, the, all the French expensive stuff in the apotheker, okay. but all the medicines covered. <laughs> okay, I think this is a very important point for people to understand. Yeah, it's very okay. important for my very important for my wife. <laughs> all right, okay, ah, so okay, assume, that's so why, assume, that's why. That's so why I assume it's, I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, yeah. I'm sure everybody will come to this question sooner or later. <laughs> So uh, next point, uh, Andy, like very important point, like common question also comes like, can we, there is a common, uh, you know, I, I won't say rumor, but questions which pop up. Yeah. Uh, can we shift back to public just like that when we want? What is the condition? What happens during a job loss? And they are in Arbitzlo scale. And yes. after which age can I not uh, go back to the uh, private, for example, public, for example? So okay. please answer you, yeah, yeah. Yes, you can shift back. Um, when we want is not 100% true, of course. Yeah. Um, if you are employed um, and you go below the limit, then you're automatically back in the public. Mm -hmm. Like let's say you earn 70k now, you change job next year and earn only 60k, then you're automatically back. So if you want to go back, yeah, yeah. for whatever motivation, because mm -hmm. you get uh, triplets or quadruplets, <laughs> yeah? Yeah. yeah, you get yeah. pregnant and you get four children at once. Yeah. yeah, then that would be the very theoretical reason 
-hmm. which doesn't happen too often where you can say, okay, I want to go back. Mm -hmm. Then you just have to talk to your employer and say, can I do 80%? Mm -hmm. Or you have to find a job where you earn less. Mm -hmm. Then, or you are losing your job. Yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah. self-motivated could also be. <laughs> all right. Yeah, then you are automatically back in the public one. This mm -hmm. all this works until 55. Yeah? Okay. Okay. If you are, that is the third question. If you're above 55, mm -hmm. then it's more difficult. Mm -hmm. But there's also possibilities. Yeah. Um, not to say tricks, but it mm -hmm. is possible. Mm -hmm. You have one big joker. Mm -hmm. Once you leave the country. You go mm -hmm. back to India, you go to the United States, you go wherever, mm -hmm. then we will let you out right away, of course. If you come back after a couple of months, you mm -hmm. will get back in the public system again. Yeah. Okay. I think this is, uh, f f for example, once they are, uh, even, is, does this work also in the retirement age? Like, for example, people getting retired here, like 67? Well, in the retirement, it doesn't work, no. Okay. Because, of course, it also has to be fair. The government says, Mm -hmm. You have had the advantages all your life. Let's say mm -hmm. you insure yourself for 35. You have the, yeah. the advantages for 30 years, yeah. better coverage, less premium. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you also have to stick with that system when you are retired. Yeah. Perfect. But let me say, as out of the perspective of a 50-year-old one, yeah. Yeah. I insured myself privately with 27. I have mm -hmm. two children. I have a wife. Uh, my wife is working part-time, so it means she's in the public one, but she has additional coverages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so upgrades, Zusatzversicherung. Yeah. Zusatzversicherung. She was privately insured when she didn't work. Yeah, mm -hmm. I invested in that two adults thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then one and two kids. But then after the kids were old enough, three and five mm -hmm. years old, she went working part-time. Mm -hmm. So we found that solution. I'm My kids and me, we are all still privately insured. My kids mm -hmm. are 15 and 17 years old. I'm not paying more than in the public one, but I'm having a much better coverage. Mm -hmm. So why? Why should I go back now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. There's a rumor, you cannot pay the premium. Mm -hmm. But that is, sorry for the word, that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> the public one, yeah. the rise is higher than the private one. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. um, and if you start early enough, I started mm -hmm. with 27. If you start with 30, 35, mm -hmm. 38, whatever, is still early enough. Yeah. Um, so that means that uh, you would be... The still situation, in... as I explained, of the public one is much more dangerous than the situation of the private one. If you buy our private product here, mm -hmm. yeah, you have the terms and conditions, and that is the contract. And these mm -hmm. terms and conditions are still there in 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. The government in the public insurance can change the terms and condition of the coverage any time by law Mm -hmm. And you cannot do anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. So you are in there, you are stuck in there, and somebody else is deciding about the coverage, mm -hmm. and somebody else is deciding about how much you have to pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you look back in the past, 30, 40 euro every year rise mm -hmm. yeah. the last 20, 30 years. So do that now if you're 35 mm -hmm. for the next 32 years. Do it with an Excel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You will come to premium. You will get dizzy. Yeah. 2,000, yeah. 3,000 euro, even if half of it is paid by the employer mm -hmm, or by mm -hmm. the pension system, mm -hmm. you won't reach that amount with a good private yeah, insurance. Sure. Okay. I think that's a live example from your side. So, just two questions, Andy, because uh, regarding job loss. So, for example, someone has worked here for more than 12 months in Germany and facing a job loss. In that case, who will pay their health insurance contribution? Can the they still? Says job center thanks the job center. direct yes. direct answer and will the job center will be pay ready to pay in for the private insurance if the person wants it does it work like you that? can also discuss through the job center and sometimes they're also supporting the private one yeah for example you are unemployed for six months between two jobs mm -hmm. yeah you are very qualified as an engineer or as an it engineer mm -hmm. um you, you earned 80k you earned one earned 100k and you're just between two jobs yeah. Okay. Okay. So then, of course, they will let you stay in there. Yeah. Because uh, it, it, they even have to maybe pay less than in the public one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a. Uh... That's that's the important question people have in mind because they there is a common assumption that once we lose job it's from our pocket but they forget that there is something called as uh, no. job department or uh, you have the social insurance. system yeah, and yeah, yeah. and and by law you will be back in the GKV in the public mm -hmm. 
-hmm. But if you don't want it, if you want to stay in the private, you can. And it's also happening that it be supported because it costs less. All right, all right, perfect. So I think that was the most important doubts people uh, come across or have in mind. So you have clarified that very beautifully. Thanks, Andy. So we have just five more minutes. I'll try to keep the important topics like dental coverage. And then maybe a uh, last one will be on maternity. And then, of course, the final questions if the people have. Okay, time. no so problem. Dental, uh, please explain between the difference between public and private uh, if in few words. And what is the advantage uh, which is automatically available in the private health insurance in terms of. Okay. Yeah, please. Does it pay for all costs? No. <laughs> then it would be 100% everywhere. Yeah. But it's almost all costs in the private one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's 100% for Zahnbehandlung, for treatment, dental mm -hmm. treatment, mm -hmm. and it's 80 or 90% in ARAC uh, packages mm -hmm. for the Zahnersatz, for the, um, what is it, English? Tooth replacement. So, yes. Um, yeah. And uh, 80 to 90%, as I said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, what's the advantage? For example, let me make an example with an implant. Mm -hmm. An implant a good implant costs 2,500, 3,000, 3,500 euro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you are in public, you will get between three and 600 euro. That's it. We mm -hmm. are talking about one tooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody has 32 teeth <laughs> in their mouth. Yeah. And you can take the wisdom out. Yeah. If somebody is the head doesn't have the wisdom anymore and the wisdom teeth, of course. Mm -hmm. And you still have 28 teeth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have four or six or eight implants mm -hmm. times 3,000 euro. That's like that's, buying a car. That's a lot of money. Yeah. So that you have to pay yourself. Of course, you can also do an additional insurance mm -hmm. for those who say maybe I have three kids and the wife is not working. Mm -hmm. You can also cover, you can do an upgrade also. Yeah, we also do upgrades. We don't only do the whole private package. That, by the way, yeah. or for the hospital. Yeah, but it's much better in the private one because you have a level of eighty or ninety percent covered of the costs. And uh, yeah. from three thousand, eighty or ninety percent is two four or two seven, yeah. and not three or six hundred euro for that's one nice. tooth. Yeah, I think that's a very very good. Uh, example i would say because i think uh one i just want to add to your point andy because it will be easier for everybody to understand my also my experience so when you have a you know a root canal or a small uh what do you call this cleaning the teeth and then filling it root canal yeah root, root canal yeah so uh normally in public you are covered only for the gray material because medically mm -hmm. that is required enough for you to you know sustain and continue eating and everything but when it when I had it in the front teeth, I don't want something to look gray on the front teeth. I want the teeth color. Like I think everybody will want that. So when I want to go with the teeth color, when I was a student, I had to pay from my pocket. But if it was in private, then I would have had a little bit more coverage. I think this is one. Uh, I think this one fine example I can use to show the difference between dental and other. Just one uh, terminology like zan susats in English is actually original dental insurance, which people. Who cannot come to private but just want little coverage on dental uh, for some reason they can take it i think this is what andy also uh, explained yes. beautifully in detail. Yes. Yeah, yeah so uh thank you andy i'll just go to the most important slide but before that one question so for example if two people are working in a couple yeah and then one of the couple loses the job who was in uh, public insurance and other was in private the who was in yes. public loses the job in that case, will the spouse has to pay uh, privately or will the job center take over for next 12 months? Well, if they are married, then the spouse has to, then the person has to go in the private one. All right. Um, let's make it more complicated. Yeah. It could be that the spouse is not eligible because of the health history. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the spouse stays in the public one, but it's not paid by the job center. It has to be paid by the spouse yeah okay and in that case it would be half of the maximum mm -hmm. so if it's 974 next year it's like 480 490 euro yeah mm -hmm. okay i think this is uh something people do understand so one question if, in there's, case... un if there's uncertainty yeah. for couples who are still planning with a maternity yeah mm -hmm. and with a family planning Mm -hmm. um, of course, you can also do additional insurances to health Versicherung first, mm -hmm. and you can already cover your health situation. For five euro, you do a dental plan, 
or you do um, um, a hospital one, you pay like 20, 30 euro, you pay mm -hmm. five euro extra, that's mm -hmm. called Flexi Pro, then you have the chance for the next 15 years to change in the private without health check. Just as the side information. Okay. Yeah, it okay. still makes sense for couples to go both in the private. Yeah. yeah. If they only plan one or two kids, mm -hmm. then it's fine. But um, yeah. Okay, I think. Uh, that's clarified enough. So we have, uh, I think we already reached seven and is it okay to cover regarding uh, maternity? Do we have some time? Uh, is it fine? Yeah, yeah, I have time. All right. fine. Okay, thank you. So uh, this is the last topic for the day, guys. Other questions, you feel free to put in comment. We will try to answer uh, until Andy has time and then move on. So how does it work in terms of uh, pregnancy? This is a very important question and doubt. And of can, course. I just want to add one thing. I mean, of course, the question is also here. So how does the child is covered and uh, who pays for it? Anyway? Please explain. Okay, does it pay for all the costs? Yes. Yeah, I can say yes. Yeah, there's no exclusions, of course. Um, even the up-to-state um, up uh, medical, um, medical treatments, which are the newest one you, you can pay. Mm -hmm. For example, let me say, if you are pregnant, and you are in public, yeah? Mm -hmm. Three checkups will be paid. Mm -hmm. One in each trimester, mm -hmm. yeah? The, 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 the normal um, pregnancy has three trimesters. Mm -hmm. And in each trimester, one checkup is paid. In private one, you can go every month, yeah? So yeah. I can tell you as a dad, and my wife had problems in the pregnancies, unfortunately, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, my daughter was born and had to go to ICU right away yeah, because there were problems. So I went through all of this. Mm -hmm. If we would not have done the regular checkup every month with my daughter, the firstborn, yep. mm -hmm. maybe she would not be alive anymore. Yeah. Um, also, what about the child? Yeah. What about mm -hmm. the newborn? Mm -hmm. My daughter was covered right away with the same coverage than my wife and me. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So um, no exclusions, no health questions. Mm -hmm. You have to be insured for at least three months. Well, mm -hmm. from what I know, a pregnancy is nine months. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it should it should work. Yeah. But if you are pregnant right now already in the six or seven months, it won't work for that child. Right. Okay. Yeah. But then you have to wait. Then I would really say, please wait. Please mm -hmm. stay in the public. Mm -hmm. You yourself would the mom would still be covered. Mm -hmm. If she is healthy, yeah, but then the child, the, the, there would be the risk of not insuring the child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but the child is insured without health questions in the same product mm -hmm. after three months. Uh, one parent has to be insured three months. All right. And yes, you can also plan the childbirth in India because okay. we are playing, we are paying worldwide for three months mm -hmm. in during a year. Yeah. 12 months, three months, you can stay there. If mm -hmm. you want to stay there for longer, you just have to let us know. Mm -hmm. And then you maybe will get an extra premium up to 30%, not more, mm -hmm. yeah? But maybe also not. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to let us know. And mm -hmm. then you can also stay for six months or whatever, or for nine months or for 10 months, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this is a very important question and Arak also frequently as, asked. Yeah. Arak as, um, as one of the, one of not, not too many private health insurances mm -hmm. is paying for the plant treatment abroad mm -hmm. yeah you have a coverage abroad worldwide in every private insurance and also mm -hmm. if you have an accident for example yeah you are at the beach in italy you mm -hmm. step in a glass and you cut your foot yeah that is covered with all every insurances mm -hmm. but if you have a special problem mm -hmm. and you say i the, the best the best doctor for that problem is in the usa mm -hmm. you can go there Mm -hmm. If you say, I'd rather go to India because uh, my family is around me, the language mm -hmm. is my language, yeah? mm -hmm. I'd rather go for the surgery there, then you can also do that mm -hmm. with Arak, not with everybody else. Okay, <clears throat> I think this is a very uh, important point uh, to be understood. And regarding the coverage for the newborn, Andy, because we don't know exactly when the child will be born sometimes, and yeah. we, would not, we would not have not paid for the child. Uh, in that case, when does the payment for the child or the premium for the child starts, basically? Well, it starts actually when it's born, of course, yeah. Uh, when do we pay? <laughs> what do you mean, when do you pay? For example, uh, say, I mean, I'm not a girl, but just for example, I'm pregnant now, I'm having yeah. childbirth tomorrow, uh, yeah. but I have not paid uh, for the 150 euros for the child today. 
So in that case, like, do I pay at end of the month or how does it happen? Like, when do I pay for the child's prison? Oh, <laughs> of course, it's covered. <laughs> yeah. And then we have to process everything. And yeah. once we process everything, you will pay backwards. Um, like, you can pay the first of the month or the 15th of the month with us. All right. You can choose. And uh, that cyclist will be done. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it's one or two months later, yeah, uh, then it's one or two months later, but it's still covered. It's, um, of course, it has to be paid, but it can be done afterwards once all the yes, process is done. Yes, yeah, right? yes, because yes. this doubt could be there uh, in some mind. So I think. Well, once uh, it's processed, of course, yeah. you cannot say, I still stay in India for six months and I'm going to pay in seven months. That yeah, won't yeah. work. Yeah, you okay. still need the German bank account where the premium monthly is deducted, or you can even pay ahead yeah. of time if once a year. Mm -hmm. yeah, that if somebody has a lot of savings, you yeah. can also pay in in, a, in um, advance. Yeah, in advance and save four percent. Yeah, that's also okay. maybe attractive. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So I know this is kind of a tricky question, but just want to address it. And uh, I think we covered most of the important questions regarding to maternity also. So one question, Andy, I think maybe we didn't, two things we didn't touch. One is regarding retirement. So what mm -hmm. happens after retirement? Because at that time we don't have an employer. So how does the pricing work? And uh, could you please explain? The employer, the employer um, you have then is actually the pension system, mm -hmm. the uh, gesetzliche Rentenversicherung, mm -hmm. and they are giving you a support yeah, on your pension, on your rent, uh, rente, uh, pension in English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have a pension of 2,000 or 2,500 euro, mm -hmm. then you will get the same half on that what the public insured person would also get. Yeah. So right now you have in TK 14.6%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think uh, TK is having plus 1.4 or 1.5 Zusatzbeitrag. So let's say Six, let's, yeah. just, let's just uh, calculate with. Uh, yeah, six is then 16, 1.6 is 16.2 divided mm -hmm. by two. So the 8.1% you would get. If you have a pension of 2,500, yeah. you get the 8%. That is about 200 euro monthly contribution. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay the current target anymore, the mm -hmm. in income compensation, mm -hmm. and you don't have to pay the 10% saving, what we also didn't talk about. You oh. pay more what is laid back for the for the Alta. Yeah. So let's say you pay 50 euro less, you pay 50 euro less and you get 200. So the support mm -hmm. is also about something like three to 400. Okay, okay. perfect. So I think this uh, uh, gives some example on possibilities. So if you're specifically interested to know on uh, you, I mean, someone who commented regarding the, uh, what is this Alta, I mean, how it manages this old age, I can also uh, perhaps later on give you some examples. So um, thank you for these uh, points, Andy. So I think we are almost at end of the session. So if anybody have questions, please stay and write in chat. Let me see if Andy's available for a few more minutes. If not, uh, you have my uh, email. I will be forwarding you certain uh, details for you to read on. And also the session which I recorded will be uploaded on internet. You can have a look at it later on as well. If you like it, please make a, uh, you can write some review on this on what we can add, or maybe write me in private as well. So do you have uh, any questions? And Andy, how much time do you have left? So don't want to keep you holding long. Let's say five minutes, we still have. All right, perfect. So anybody have quick questions? I think I tried to address almost all the questions uh, which came up. One fine thing which Andy, like for example, someone is having 65,000 as salary, but their yeah. uh, bonus is say 2,000 euros. Uh, and they're above exactly 67,000 for next year. In that case, can they join or is it only the gross salary? Well, you actually have to look at the working contract. Yeah? You should contact us and then we will check on the working contract because sometimes the bonus uh, is included, sometimes not. Um, right. The bonus is definitely included if it's prepaid. Yeah. Yeah, let's say you have a bonus of 5,000 mm -hmm. and you get it monthly paid 4,000 already. All right. Yeah. All right. And then if you reach it, everything is fine if you don't reach it you have to pay it back but mm -hmm. it's still uh, included yeah all right all right okay, that's but great. if you only get it the next next year then it would be not included but yeah that is special cases so i mm -hmm. would say um hello contact arun and mm -hmm. then or contact us and then we will see
All right, perfect. So, yeah, when I wanted to ask something. Uh, yes, uh, I Andy. Uh, good evening. Thank you for Hello. all the information. Information. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the information. I I am a married person. Um, I'm 34 years old, and my wife is 30 years old. Yes. Both of us are planning to enter uh, private insurance now, and uh, we are, we I personally uh, planning to take a comfort plan with uh, Flexi Pro option, uh, mm -hmm. so that in case in future if something comes up so that we can easily switch to med extra and have a better that's a good, coverage. good good stress that's a good strategy definitely yeah so both of us are planning in such a way so uh, yeah i think uh, this is uh, better suited for us mm -hmm. uh, because we are planning a kid after like in 2024 uh, but as you as you <laughs> know uh, nothing happens as planned yeah. everything happens <laughs> spontaneously <laughs> uh, yeah so but, but, pe but people explain to you how it works with the pregnancy right yeah just just in case uh, so when I am having this uh, flexi pro option, um, when suddenly if I fall sick, uh, can I immediately switch to uh, Med Extra to get a better you service? Can, you can switch always 1st of January for 10 years. And you have to be below 50. Yeah. So in your case, if you're 34 and your wife is 30, then for the first 10 years, always to January 1st. So if you are examined in February with a severe illness you mm -hmm. have to wait for 11 months but oh, as okay. i said as i said even the comfort is better than the tk right now so oh. um yeah it's still a good strategy of course okay so we have to wait uh, for 11 months and yes. uh, the, this premium of made extra it will depend on the and that time like for example after five years if i'm switching on that time whatever the rate is there so that rate will be applicable to me uh, no, I mean, actually, the part of when you enter with 34 and you would change to mid extra with 39, yeah, then of course, what you um, you entered with 34, uh, and that one counts actually, yeah. So, how, how I, mean, I will the, know that the, the, there's a part, it's a little bit complicated in the comfort plan or in the mid extra plan, there is a certain percentage which mm -hmm. is um, saved for the old age, yeah. And in the comfort is of course less than in the med extra, but what you have there already in the comfort will be credited to the med extra plan. Yeah, so you don't actually pay for thirty nine, but you also don't pay for thirty four. Yeah, you pay like thirty five to thirty six, something like that. Yeah, it will be calculated individually. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So it will be credited, but based on the comfort product, of course. Yeah. Uh, so even though I have Flexi Pro, I have to wait uh, till the next year to start or change the plans. Yeah. So I have to plan it accordingly uh, if we want it. Well, you have to, of course, you you have to be active. Yeah, it's not that we ask you every year on go on your nerves. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to come to us and say, I want to change the plan, and mm -hmm. then you can change the plan anyways anytime if you are healthy. Yeah, the Flexi Pro, the five euro you only need for the situation that you're not healthy. Yeah, hmm. um, if you are healthy and hmm. you, you can answer the health questions again hmm. without problems, then you can change any time. Then you can also change in March or in July or in September or whenever you want. Yeah. No, but uh, as you said, it's only possible to, I, I want to take the Flexi Pro because you, you never know the situations. So, as you told, I just have to wait another uh, six months if I have been diagnosed with something in uh, uh, yeah. July or June. I have then to wait till January. Wait until, then you have to then you stay in comfort until December, and you have, can change to mid best uh, or mid extra in um, in change. January. Follow yes. yes. So after the taking that, for example, for mid extra for one year for my wife in pregnancy time. I can, when I switch back, when my wife switches back to the comfort plan, will it be the same uh, premium which she was paying before or it yes. also yeah. depends on the time? No, no, no. It will be the same one then. Okay. 
All right. Okay. Thanks, Vana. I think I'll just uh, uh, go Thank to you. the final question and perhaps we can do that. So I would need details of all packages. I mean, uh, just for those who are staying, I will send the details of all the packages, all the previous mm -hmm. interviews we had, uh, overview I created in English, which also Andy saw and approved. So nothing extra. And addition to that, one small question and final question, how is it during Elton's night, like the premium? So could we just say uh, last few words on that if, and we'll close. If, yeah. if you are insured with us already for more than eight months, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's excluding a pregnancy which is existing already. Yeah. If you are insured with us for eight months, then you don't have to pay the premium for six months during the Elton side. Okay. And that can be six months, one parent, six months, the other parent. Yeah. Perfect. If you are doing the Elton side, six months, six months. Yeah. If you're doing the Elton side, let's say 12 months, the wife, two mm -hmm. months, the spouse, the husband, then it will be six months for the wife. And the two months, of course, for the spouse. Perfect. So I think that's a very good And if example. you have any more questions, feel free. Yep. We are happy that you're interested. Contact Arun. He will contact me if he doesn't know the answer. Yep. And we will help you with the application, whatever questions. And we are glad, of course, to welcome you to Arak. Perfectly. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for the time. And thank you, everybody, for taking part in the meeting today. So we try to answer all the questions as much as possible. So I hope it was useful for you all. Once again, thanks, Andy. So I will come back with, to you all with email. If you like the session, please also put some uh, reviews on this and what can be added also. I take uh, positive and negative comments. So once again, thank you all and uh, I wish you a happy uh, day and probably the weekend is not so far, but again, fine, <laughs> always have, have fun, yeah, take care.